Okay. We're going to start with the prologue to Astabreed before we actually get into the game. My apologies for that. Because, you know, you need to have the anime type style story and everything, right? あんたとの苦戦が切れなくて残念だよ。社長。自分も無事です。けど、こんな調子じゃ時間の。なんだとこのピザ野郎。気持ちが負けてんだよ。よし、従業員内に面白いこと言ってみろ。10 9 Alright, um... I'm very glad that I chose to choose the story there because I still have no idea what's going on. Is that my... Yeah, alright, so I think this is my scatter shot button. Is this my focus shot button? I believe it is. Alright, so anyway, Astabri, as you can see, is a kind of like a 3D shooter, but as you can also see, it, it kind of goes to Star Fox Rails type of stuff. It'll also kind of go to more traditional 2D sort of shoot 'em ups, and it changes this dynamically on the fly, which is kind of cool. Alright, well, I'm sure we got something right. We also have a sword for close range combat, which is awesome. Oh, the blade button, right? Yeah. So Esther Breed's pretty cool that way. One problem is they do cutscenes while you play the game, which... If you don't speak the language, which I don't, is pretty hard to follow. Something about the president dipping his pen in the company ink, which, uh... Pretty hot, right? Okay. Blade dash looks like some kind of like escape from bullets type of move. So that works, right? Just trying to get used to it. Because I've only played this once before, like I mentioned, so. The one tricky thing about Astabreed is, in addition to, um, well, not being shot at in this prologue, uh, you do have, like, armor kind of things, you know? Oh, so, as you can see there, like, that blue meter. I'm actually pretty strong, and I think it's even regenerating health, so... On normal difficulty, at least, you're probably not gonna die. Um... I got to the last boss, actually, without dying. So much so that when I first played it, I was even unsure if I had done some kind of god mode thing and got hit up hers a couple times, but the final boss, at least, it gets pretty tough. But maybe we can unlock hard tonight, who knows. Whoa, hey now. Of course, I say there's nothing to dodge, and then they do that on me, but... Also, nobody wanted to stream with me tonight. Everybody was busy. Quite sad. Whoa, hey. Oh, I couldn't do anything there. Hey, Lord Souls.
パを守って。大丈夫追っ手が来たわパパ少しだけ力を貸して All right um I don't know about the rest of you but I did not understand that Oh look at that there's a、uh, lock on like a certain other shoot 'em up I like a whole bunch In fact yeah I like lock on a lot perfect I wonder if yep and oh I can you can even do um sword while you do that that's pretty cool I'm assuming you can't focus one let's see what is Oh yeah, I kind of remember this part, right? So if you you can lock on to things in a certain direction, right? By doing that, by doing the that with the focus block, so perfect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So lock forward with focus mode. Lock around you with scatter shot. Got it. Perfect. Press the EX attack button once the yellow gauge is full. Oh, it's not full yet. So let's fill it. All right, that works. Whoa! Hey now, let's watch the bullets here. Is my EX gauge full? Well, all right, that looks like it is. Cool. Oh, all right, and it fills pretty fast. It looks. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, I'm looking at the upper right. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. So that's the breeze. Not so bad so far. Okay, and you know what's cool too is just like Crimson Clover, lock around you also counts as a focus kind of. You know what? Let's double up. Yeah. Okay. Perfect, ish. I'm not sure how the multiplier works exactly. It looks like my multiplier is going down now, and it's also still a little tricky to、um, do the whole blade dash. Cause I thought that was just blade and direction mode, but envy the QR code. I do enjoy Star Fox 64, and I played the shit out of it when I was younger. They should make more Star Fox games. Good ones. For whatever's happening, um, graphics are beautiful, though. Astabreed, how are you?、Uh, let's see here. Controls.、Um, I was okay with the controls there. I think.、Um, let's go scatter shot this button. Focus was regular. I think I was okay with focus being there. Yeah, blade. That works. 
yeah cool okay yep cool I think we're good right you all enjoy that oh wait one more thing though before that's not you know yep all right we're all set then boom I'm ready to go I'm ready to get on some fucking leaderboards here let's do it um yeah, so once again, I have gotten to, uh, what is it, stay, the last, the last boss, actually. I got all the way there, so maybe this time we can actually finish it. Let's see here. I love Bender. Is this on PS3, PS4, or PC? I'm currently playing it on PC, just so you know. Damn, this is a beautiful looking game. <laughs> Yeah, that is the one thing, it is a little easy, but, you know, hey, what are you going to do? Kind of rethinking my, um, scatter shotgun, I have that bound to L trigger for the lock-on and the focus kind of stuff, but, you know, whoa. Wow, that almost looked like I knew what I was doing. Cool, okay. Yeah, this isn't going too bad, right? Yeah, alright, um, I know I saw, whoop, I'm sorry. I can, I can talk over this, it's subtitled. Um, Panzer Dragoon, I saw mentioned in the, uh, chat there, I played that once. There was a blockbuster by me that actually rented the Saturn, I believe, you know? And, uh, yeah, so I, I have actually played it, but just not a whole lot. I've always been interested in the Panzer games. I actually have Shenmue 2 for the Xbox, but I don't have the first one. I got hit! Fuck off! Jerks! I did like dashing over after. Okay. Dash, maybe? I wish I could kind of control Blade Dash more. It seems a little finicky. Can I dodge that? Okay, good. Yeah, this is pretty fun, though. You get to sort of dash around, kind of feel sort of bad at. Oh, there we go, yeah. I feel just like an anime robot, it's awesome. Whoa. Uh, someone called me an idiot. It, really, though, the one thing I'm gonna say, as to breed, is that you cannot do cutscenes during the action because I can't see what's happening. I can't even think about looking downward. I really can tell what's going on here. I. So, that's not so bad, at least. It looks kinda iffy at that point, but. here. The Blade Dash, um, it's pretty good. It seems kind of like a, you know, like a, what do you call it? Last ditch move. Like it seems to work when you're about to get hit. Did I get hit there? I think I did. I see my meter. So let's stop getting hit. Oh dear. I think the, oh shit, I wasn't paying attention for that. I think the red spot on my robot is the, or my mech, excuse me. Uh, I forgot where the Japanese word for robot. Anyway, um, uh, I think the red spot's my actual hitbox. Whoa, crap, gotta pay more attention. It's kind of tricky with a game this intense, you know? You're not thinking you have to, like, pay as much attention as you do. Alright, let's go back to regular shoot 'em up type of things. Whoa, hey. Alright. I mean, I know we can just blade dash through everything, but, you know, where's the fun in that? I mean, I say that now, but we'll see how this goes in a few. He's not too bad. You know? No, whoa, no crazy patterns, no nutty things. I say that just as this is a little difficult to dodge, but whatever. I guess I should have finished him off with a sword shot to, to look really cool. That looked pretty cool anyway, though, right? My tension graph seems pretty good, too, if I had to judge anything by my tension graph. Yeah, I like it. Tell me about it, Roy. All right, chapter two, acceleration. Uh, whoa. All right, so let's see what's going on here. 
Andy AML is saying in the comments this gets nuts in later stages. I kind of don't remember, if you want to know the truth. Um, trying to think of, like, the cooler way to use Blade Dash besides spamming it, you know? So, so right now I'm just kind of playing it standard shmup-wise and, you know, or, like, I'm going to try to use the Blade a little more sparingly because it seemed to make the first part a bit easy. Looks like I have an EX shot ready. Okay, so EX just lets me, like, kind of dash and attack in. Almost like a Noido Love type of thing. I should go back to that game, too. I never finished that either, now that I think about it. That was an awesome game. Ooh, you know. Yeah, alright, this isn't too bad. I like that pattern, too. Alright, so maybe if I use Blade Dash for things like that... Oh! Can I... Was that me parrying the shots, too? That's pretty cool, right? Okay, yellow shots, yes. Red shots, no. Got it. So that's good for maybe, um... Situations like I was just in right that second. Alright. Yeah, that's right. You tell him, uh, Roy. Is that my name? Okay, good. Yikes. Oh, I'm facing the other direction. Right, okay. Yeah, it's a pretty confusing game that way. Alright, so anyway. I'm watching, I'm watching. Oh. Okay, so I'm guessing I didn't want to come out of this. Oh. So, let's see. These meteors... Oh, they can hit me. Whoa! Hey, now. Okay, this is kind of cool, actually. Um, God damn. A lot of, uh, a lot of the sh shoot -em ups Oh, shit. Like, dash through. Okay, uh... A lot of the shoot 'em ups I, I play, that sometimes you, they run together a little, but like, yeah, Astabreed kind of stands out. That's like a hit before, shit! Alright, so let's see, we're at, what, 4% multiplier? Oh, that's my shield bonus. Oh. Ah! It's not good. Okay, let's try that again. So, actually, I'm probably gonna do better with the scatter shot. Okay, um. Just a little hard, I guess, to keep track of what's going on all the time, but... This is like that part of Finding Nemo, where he's like riding the... Yeah, this is just like Finding Nemo. That was a great metaphor. This is why I bring people on to talk with me, usually. Okay. You yeah, see, this is kind of reducing the... Oh, yeah, shoot him up challenge, I was about to say, as I get hit. Okay. Jesus. All right. Let's see here. Um, can we turn around, or do we need to, even? Shit. That one, he's like, red homing, it makes it a little tough to lock onto him, which is why I should be using the focus shot. There we go. Come on, get... Alright. Yeah, okay, he's not so bad. I guess I could... Yeah, I have to there. Okay. I wonder if I could have dodged that without it, or if... I wonder if I get any... Yikes! Alright, that was quite the hit. See, though, it only took off, like, uh, a quarter of my shield, so... I'm not too concerned with it. Hey! Okay. Uh, this fight's not going well. Evolute's not a... It's a pretty tough boss, I guess. Yeah, right, let's make some more use of the, the blade dash here, and that should do it. Okay. Subtypes produced. Why am I trying to read the story now? Watch it, you. Okay, so he's shooting. Oh shit. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm letting him corner me. It's not good. Hey. There we go. I see what you got to do. You kind of, kind of combine blade mode with the focus mode and all that. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is really okay. I'm think I'm getting the hang of it now. It's really more about like combining your attacks rather than like focusing on one or the other. That seems more like the trick to it. So, yeah, blade mode, you can kind of use it defensively like that, and then... Alright. Yeah, yeah, focus is more directed. I think I'm going to start to get... I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. My tension graph was awful this chapter. I don't know why. 
他人事みたい。That's loud. Hey, hey. Hey, Dominic, how are you? All's good. Um, oh, let me just turn down the stream. <laughs> sure thing. Let me share my screen with you. I'm assuming for a game like this, the frame rate's not going to be so great. But, yeah, probably know. not. That and was especially good. with all the camera movement. Right. And I wish Skype would not adjust audio for me because that's always, ne never works out. All right. So anyway, how are you doing this fine evening? Yeah, all good, all good. I've been um, playing um, a bunch of Shadow of Mordor. How is that game? Really fun. Uh, it's way more sandboxy than I expected. It's, I, very little in the way of I, you know, story focus or cutscenes. It just kind of drops you straight into Mordor with the objective of kill orcs. All right, so Shadow of Mordor is about killing orcs. Got it. No, I... <laughs> lots of them. I was, um... What do you call it? I was actually, uh... I was a little interested in it. I wasn't much of a Tolkien person, you know? But, like, uh, it seemed pretty good at the time, you know? Well, I, I have uh, I almost no memory of the original books, and I, I, get, I think the, the films are a little bloated anyway, but I'm really loving the game. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it seemed... It's, you really don't need to be a Tolkien nerd to uh, enjoy it, that's for sure. Gotcha. Um, I really only know, um, what was I going to say? I've also, I also know the articles about it and such, and the, it's not really controversial per se, it just touches on some interesting issues, you know, or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know that it's, like, controversial, but, like, people I know are talking about, like, how you treat the orcs and all that stuff, you know? Yeah, I guess it's because I, the orcs have enough of a range of personality that you can feel kind of bad about, you know, slaughtering them by the thousands. Right. I mean, they're, they're a little bit like um, the orcs in Warhammer 40,000 now. They're kind of British football hooligan stereotypes. But <laughs> some of them are charming. I see. Well, I'm sure that's true of British football hooligans, too. <laughs> but, uh... Well, not so much. Right. Not so much. Um, what do you call it? Anime mechs, I notice, tend to be kind of... They tend to kind of run together, you know? I don't feel too bad for them, but... This is an intense game, though. It's it's oh, pretty... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I, know, um, I reviewed it um, I mean, when it was, like, it just come out. I reviewed the Japanese version. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, my only complaint was possibly the first playthrough is a little too easy. Yeah. But spectacle is the one thing this game does in space. Oh, yeah, no, totally. They call it. It's it's really hard to believe. I think the entire development team is like three people. Mm hmm Oh, really? Yeah, I... This is like this is tiny, low budget indie stuff, and wow, I can't think of any other, I mean, other than possibly Cinemora. That is, this is like the prettiest shmup I've seen in years. I still, yeah. I still get to play Cinemora. But uh, what is it for, by the way, Cinemora? Is that Xbox uh, a lot? Oh, everything. Oh, okay. Um, PC version uh, goes for like um, just a couple of dollars whenever sales swing around. Mm hmm. Nice. Um, sorry, I'm a little distracted dodging here. Yes. That's, that's yeah, I can, uh, can see why. Hmm. I mean, see. This stage is um, really nice when you're um, kind of pulled away. You can um, pan the camera around manually. Oh, really? Yeah. I did not know that, actually. The enemies come at you. I I think it's um, the next scene that you kind of get um, a, a completely open section where you actually, <coughs> yeah, you, um, yeah, there's a bit coming up where you fight the entire enemy fleet. Oh, well, that sounds like fun. Uh, I'm being told also I have to play Cinemora just for the story alone. Cinemora has a really confusing, dark, depressing time travel story. Aww. Whoa. And once you beat it, you get the op um, an optional mode to replace all the, um, well, a lot of the story dialogue with philosophical musings. <laughs> because, you know. Because why not, yeah. at that point? The one thing I will say for, about Astabreed, though, is, um, I guess, with the one exception of the red shots, is uh, 
your sword, your blade seems to cancel a lot, a lot. Like yeah, I, normal mode is definitely easy, and there's a, a lot more in the way of red shots, and ah, your shield is, feels a lot more fragile on hard mode. Gotcha. Whoops. I mean, enemy attack patterns really stepped up a bit as well. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, what have you been up to lately? What have you been playing? Oh, you've been playing Shadow of Mordor, duh. But, um... <laughs> can, I, can I plug a movie? I'm probably going to okay, take a look at that. <laughs> sure, sure. I, uh, I really liked Gone Girl. I had read the book. I saw... oh, I've been... Go ahead. I've been meaning to see that. I really liked it a lot, honestly. thought it was very well done. I'm the... You call it... I, I think David Fincher did that. The guy who directed Fight Club and House of Cards. Um... What do you call it? I know Ben Affleck produced it, not that that means anything, but um, but he was actually good in it and everything. I, yeah, big fan. I would recommend it. Not like a shoot 'em up though. My one complaint. <laughs> just, just in case you were on this stream wondering that kind of recommendation, Gone Girl is not that. But, whoa. Yeah, I, I kind of figured. Yeah. Whoa. Sorry, the one of the characters is going insane in the in the cutscene there. Actually, yeah. I, uh... yeah. It's a pity that they couldn't um, do like a full dubbed version of the story, but I mean, the right. localization was done absolutely on a shoot budget. Mm -hmm. Saying it's playism, isn't it? I think playism is like two people. Right. <laughs> Wait, is uh, playism is who did the localization? Yep, and uh, the store that sells it. Gotcha. Whoa, shit. Okay, this is an interesting pattern. Oh, and there's big red shots in addition to this too. So this is an interesting... Uh, this, is, this is where I first died um, when I was first playing the game. Mm -hmm. boss. Okay. I'm gonna, I, hoping this, what I'm doing now, is kind of a good time to do the whole uh, shoot, the, shoot the crap out of this enemy, you know. Uh, what does she have left? She has about half energy left. I don't know what I have and I don't want to look. My yellow meter up? Oh, shit. I think I got... I, I tried to do um, an EX attack there, but I think I got cancelled out of it or something. Oh, jeez. This is kind of a cool fight, because it's sort of... We're about even, you know? Or we're, like, kind of... your gauges are directly under your mech, anyway. Oh, sh crap. Yeah, alright. That's... Okay, that's pretty cool here. Wait, what's going on? Is this a cutscene, or...? Yeah, you probably want to back off. Oh, I can't move. Oh, uh, Ooh. my controller messed up. Shit, Bell, that's that's rough. All right, let's try that again. Um, yeah, I was wondering for a second, like, what that was all about. There we go. Anyway, sorry. What happened there? Um, batteries okay. ran out. No, like, I guess it just sort of lost connection with the USB or something, you know? Because oh. it just oh. like stopped responding. But I plugged it. I unplugged it and plugged it back in, and we're good again. Sorry about that. It's tough when you're doing this mech fighting stuff. Whoa, that's a good that's a good pattern. Oh, shit. I'm still not used to switching between scatter and focus is my only problem right now, but maybe Alright, this is gonna be a close one. Oh crap, die already! Wait, oh crap uh jeez. Okay, that happened again, so I wonder what's going on here. Uh try a different USB port? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. Oh man, this is this is the most intense part of the fight. Jeez. Okay, here we go. Uh, Pula Hoko, I he like he really likes the cut, constant cutscene aspect of the game. I like it. The only issue I have is it's like hard. It's probably good to watch, but playing it, I, I've missed like eighty percent of the story from dodging stuff. Yeah, I think if, if they were able to dub the whole thing, it would it would work so much better in English. Yeah, more or less. But as it stands, you, you really can't keep an eye on the action and the subtitles. Mm-hmm. My tension graph started to spike up again toward the end there, I guess. But, um, no, all right, so tension graph apparently is your combo and how you kept it up. Yeah. Oh, we're invading the mobile I mean, planet. Um, mm -hmm. This isn't a particularly difficult game, no matter how you slice it, so the focus is on and going for high scores. Mm hmm Let's see. Uh, hearing your voice is still a little low, so I'll just spike you up a little more. How's that sound? You're all the way at 80 now, so... Testing, testing. Okay. Oh, you're good, you're Do good. Do I sound any... Oh, right, you, good. You, sound, you sound good to me. Hopefully. I, um, when I was watching the recordings of the, the Galshell streams, I, I 
because <laughs> I was so much louder than everyone else. <laughs> That's the one tricky thing about multiple people on the Skype call, because I can control the global Skype volume, but, you know, if, if some people are low and others aren't, you know what I mean? Like, it's hard to get everybody on this, yeah. ooh, same volumetric wavelength, especially because I'm a little yeah. tone deaf, but this level is pretty yeah, crazy. Got a different mic as well. Damn. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, yeah, this level is pretty cool. I, I kind of forgot about this. I think the sword death actually passes through even red shots, if I remember right. Yeah, I think so. And it's, um, hold, hold down the sword, uh, and then hit the direction, I believe. Yeah. It looks like it has to be homing on an yeah, enemy. There's, there's a, a fairly extensive tutorial showing all the tricks and moves, but... Yeah. It looks like you just jumped in at the beat then. <laughs> Let's see here. Um... Yeah, the blade dash, I... Oh, jeez. Okay. So let's do this a little better than that, then. Just go forward. Dash forward! Okay. Alright, so I'm at... There's also that little pause at the end of a combo that, um... Oh, like my recovery? Yeah, I gotcha. It looks like the, it's regenerative health, too, which is good, so... Alright. Yeah, I mean, it regens so much slower on hard mode. So you've basically got the one health bar. <laughs> gotcha. Ooh, wow. That's a lot of that's a lot of bullets. Yeah, it looks like the yeah I see the red point is the uh, hitbox. Got it. Okay, so this is eeks. It's sort of it's really interesting because there's like there's a lot to manage because your three weapons are so disparate and you know obviously you can like use some to lock and you can use the blade to like actually move. It's kind of it's interesting that way. Whoa, jeez. A surprisingly technical game. Yeah. And they like throwing enemies at you from literally every direction. Yes. <laughs> I love the... I, and, of course, the perspective-changing stuff is, like, fun as hell. Ah! And they first played around with that a bit in Aoife Vapor, which was their, their previous game. Right. But, but, yeah, they really went playing the whole hog on this one. Yeah. They certainly did. All right, I gotta get my combo back up. This is getting shameful. Second, I've got a cat scratching at my door. No problem at all. Don't worry about it. I'll I'll hold down the fort here. Ah, I won't hold down the fort here. This is terrible. Come on, Solabees. All right, there we go. Hello, cat. <laughs> the cat enjoy the games. Yikes! Yikes! Oh, the cat enjoys my desk. Oh, there you go. Is asked to breed a little much for is it a little much for a pet or what do you call it? By the way, Lord Cuddy, yes, there is seriously going to be a Tetris movie. That is not a joke somehow. The joke is the fact that um, the Tetris movie is by the studio that made Food Fight, which is kind of has gone down in internet legend as possibly the worst computer animated film ever made. Wow. I don't think I've ever even heard of Food Fight. There's, uh, if you can stomach him, the, the Nostalgia Critic did um, a review of it, and mm -hmm. it, it really is as bad as they say. Wow. The, the animation is hilarious. It's like the wobbliest mocap you've ever seen. <laughs> Interesting. Is it, is it like Clock Tower 3 bad? Did you ever see that, that uh, mocap? That was kind of an incredible mob gap, Clock Tower 3, because some scenes were done in, like... Did you ever see, like, the sort of stereotypical Japanese comedy style where things are, like, really over the top? So, for a horror game, it doesn't really work very well, you know, but... Oh, crap. Hold on, sorry, I just gotta... There we go. Was that the boss? That couldn't have been the boss. Yeah, sorry. No, go ahead, sorry. It was the best stage, but oh, you got okay. a, bit, a bit to go. All right. Um, what do you call it? Pulahoko, have you played a game that you would consider sad? Huh. That's a good question, actually. I don't know. I'm pretty hard-hearted. What do you think, Dominic? Have you played any sad games? I can't think of any right now. Uh, <laughs> Nier, I'd say. Nier is Ooh. a crushingly depressing game. You know, I saw the let's I saw a let's play of that that the Dark Kid did, and that that was a very depressing game, actually. Good call. Yeah, it, 
Very un to breed. No, um... He caught. Um... I've actually though, never played near myself. I mean, the gameplay is just kind of so-so. It's not bad, it's just uh, workmanlike. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It is the medium by which the gameplay is conveyed, not by which the story. Hmm. Although it does say, play around with genres nicely. I mean, it, like, it turns into a bullet hell shmup at a couple of points. I did see that part, which is kind of interesting, but um, the loose this won't... Then it turns into a text adventure, because, you know... Of course, because Those why wouldn't it? Compatible. Absolutely. Why wouldn't it? <clears throat> oh, uh, what is this going on here? My yellow gauge is up. Oh, I'm, I'm back in the saddle. Okay. So, holy crap. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, this... <laughs> yes, yeah, Roy agrees. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. Tried to alter me, my mind. Did you see the subside titles at that moment? Uh, no, actually. At exactly the second he shouted, you shouted, holy crap, he did. <laughs> nice. That's a, whoa. This is pretty cool. This is like a Gradius core, but awesome. Or more so. Um, Ikaruga's sad if we're talking shoot 'em ups technically. Oh, Radiant Silver Gun is a depressing schmuck. Ah, I know, you know, I've still never played Radiant Silver Gun. I've heard it's hard. Really? Yeah. It's really good, and it's it's pretty hard, but mostly absolutely grueling. It's like an, a regular playthrough on the kind of extended home console mode. It's like an hour and a bit long, hmm. which for the genre is huge. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, usually they last about 30, 30 minutes, you know? I mean, um, Dodonpachi is a pretty long one, but that's kind of unusual. You know, I think that, like, a playthrough is, like, an hour to do both loops, you know? Ah, uh, but that's both loops. This is Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying... Just one huge string of levels. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm even saying, like, that, yeah, that's it's that's unusual. Uh, but, um, wow. Yeah, Radiant Silver Gun. I think I've seen footage of it, but, uh, it's got, it's like you've got, Radiant like... Radiant Silver Gun is, it's weirdly, um, uh, really bright and colorful and has, like, the most... I mean, um, 70s anime characters as possible, <laughs> like, as cartoonish as you can get, and the story is a suicidally apocalyptic. <laughs> well, you know, um, Ikaruga apparently is a follow-up to it, like, uh, well, in terms of the final boss, anyway. Yeah, I mean, the, the, um, I think um, Treasure have done that in a couple of other games, just I mean, right. a weird abstract thing at the last moment. So, what PA Master told me from what he read online was the final boss of Radiant Silver Gun is something called the Stone Keep, which gets sealed away, and then in Ikaruga, it's the, it ends up being the final thing that flies away that... I don't want to spoil the ending Nikaruga now here on an Astabreed dream, you know, but... But it's one of those dealies. It's what I've heard. Whoa. I've not seen any um, great story links between the two, but I... <laughs> Given that there are time loops involved, I, oh. I suppose that's quite possible. Who knows? Um, well, I'm sure someone out there knows, actually. But... And now for cutscenes. Now for cutscenes. This is where it plot dumps. Mm -hmm. We'll bring shit then while we're here, why not? And now I can't see the game because the cat perched on my chest. I'll describe what's happening. It's a dating sim now. Whoa. Hey. Hello. And it looks like I'm... Uh, my entire field of vision is now cat. Well, we're look we're talking to an older guy who's smoking a cigarette. Yeah, yeah I, I must yeah. have been way behind on the stream. Oh, well. Yeah, we're, we're no longer in intense shoot 'em up section. I, I can see that. No, uh, you... I was the one talking about Panzer Dragoon because that's probably the first shmup I ever played, and... Mm -hmm. I played, uh, the Xbox version, Panzer Dragoon Auto, uh -huh. which was... It's criminal that they didn't make more of them, and it's finally been sort of continued in, yeah. uh, Crimson Dragon, I think, for the Xbox One. Mm -hmm. Crimson Dragon is just a sad, sad game. They, it's like... 
hey, what does, what does Panzer Dragoon need? Hmm. Repeating lesson, grinding quests. Oh, yeah, I heard about that, that it's just like... Grind endlessly, all these shitty L Like, there was Panzer Dragoon, Dragoon Saga, which was the RPG, right? And hmm. yeah. But I heard it's like even grindier than that. Much grindier, because Panzer Dragoon Saga, I think... I. You don't even grind, you just go straight through the levels. By the way, make sure uh, make sure you don't miss the cyber cat girls if you were interested. Oh. They're here. Excellent. Oh yeah, no. It's, no. You have to get no, your... Uh, yeah, go ahead. It's okay. like they save all the story, right? <laughs> right. To this point, and they just get it all out of the way at once. <laughs> okay. Let me sell you a bit on a Panzer Green Otter. Alright. You know how in uh, some shops there's like certain levels you'd want to practice or maybe you just want to see certain bits that are awesome mm -hmm. and skip to them maybe? Okay. Uh, if you defeat Panzer, Panzer Dragoon Auto on hard mode yeah. or play 15 hours of it, which you're likely to get to by playing trying to beat hard mode, yeah. you unlock box mode, mm -hmm. which allows you to skip to any level, choose like what power-ups you want to use, uh, mess with your health, uh, the evolution stages of your dragon, you can unlock, you can use, like, developer stuff, you can play as enemy types, or the fir or the dragon from the first game, and you can just choose whatever level you want to do it in, or just play the game from the start with all these crazy <laughs> options. Huh. Oh, it's an absolutely like, classic game, the entire series is. That um, Saturn emulation is now really good, you can play um, the first two and Saga really easily. Hmm. The Panzer Dragoon Auto actually had the first game emulated in it, but uh, oh, yeah, you, have, for that. you have you have to have an original Xbox to be able to play Auto, because they kind of got sort of into uh, the backwards compatibility for the 360, but then they just went fuck it, so the game automatically crashes after the second oh. level. The oh, I, I don't even think um, Panzer Dragoon Auto works at all on on European hey. Xboxes for backwards compatibility. Oh. I look kind of great now. Damn. This is the stage five, and it's the title, the titular chapter. If I remember, this is the final boss. Yeah. So oh. yeah, as this you, big red guy. You may have noticed throughout. Hmm? You may have noticed throughout the game up until this point that. Um, your mech is, is kind of a half Earth design, a half alien design. I see. And now you've upgraded to full alien. Gotcha. I look like Nomura Batman in a way. <laughs> That's a little joke to serve the people in the know, right, guys? Wink. Oh, yeah, and this is the final boss. Oh. Oh, never mind then. And what a pedigree that is. <laughs> see, uh... I love Nomura Batman because it is just so preposterous and over the top. <laughs> Whoa. It's, I'd love to see it animated. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yeah, and like yeah, the, the, um, the screen, um, screen share has just dropped to, like, <laughs> two frames a second. Sorry. It's, uh, yeah, it, it might be something. Let me know if you want to just drop back to the regular stream and deal with the delay, or if you're okay, because... I have the feeling with this level of encoding, maybe the stream itself might be having some encoding issues. Yeah, the stream has been handling it fine, even when it's full action. Um, but if you've got enough bandwidth to watch the um, source detail, you... 60 frames per second, perfect. Do you do you want to know what fucking? I live in Australia. I do not. <laughs> Sorry. Um... No. Uh, do you know the terrible luck I have is. Uh, Total Biscuit got bored one day, decided to host me, and I hadn't rebooted my computer in a while, so of course that's the time I played Crimson Clover, and there was just tons of artifacting. Oh, oh well. Always the way. I'm, al I'm, al I'm always... I'm always... Internet fame. Gone forever again. Oh well. You had your one shot and you blew it. Actually, I think, I think he only brought me like 70 viewers anyway, so fuck it. No, I'm kidding. Um, but... I... No, I well, appreciate I'm it. I'm fairly sure there isn't like, much audience crossover between <laughs> Total Biscuit and like, Schmups. This is true, yeah. Um, we were playing Sigma Star, Stor Sigma Star Saga at the time, which is actually a really cool game. It's just, I'm stuck in... Grindy. Yeah. Re repetitive. Yeah. 
Whoa, alright. Oh, wow, okay. Did I dodge that? I think I dodged that. Okay, so this is... I'm trying to remember, I think you can counter its claw attacks with your sword. I... Alright, I got hit by something. Well, probably... Yeah, oh my god. Um, alright, let's think about probably this. Probably more than a few somethings. Yeah. yeah. This is the point where the kid gloves come off. Yeah. And it makes you very glad you have that regenerating shield. I think um, in this um, second mech, you get an um, even faster shield regen. Hold on. This is Asymptote Void, I believe his name is. Because why, why wouldn't it be? That's a, that's a good name, isn't he? Yep. Uh, well, yours is just Asymptote now. Oh, yeah, good call. It was X-Breed before, that's right. Yep. All right. Yeah, it's in Crossbreed. Because hybrid. Ah, I see. Gotcha. Whoa, holy. Hold on, sorry, I gotta. Oh, really? The yellow shots, too? Guys, that's a little much. Alright. Yikes. Okay. Uh, this is. Deesh. Just a little tricky. Alright, this is. You really need the focus. Oh, wow, you really need to be good at the focus plus the blade at this point. Did I die? Aw, oh, you! Alright, that was. The game now has nothing but contempt for you. <laughs> All right, let's take, let's do this again. Fuck off, asymptote void. All right. If I um, remember right, the, the trick is kind of using the full lock-on attack on it, and then you just focus on circling around. Yeah. And using the sword on the yellow shots. I'm trying to. I tried to use my um, blade mode before to. Um... Or my blade dash to get rid of the claw to get through the claw attack, which seemed to work all right. But um, just try to try to concentrate a little more and do a little more blade dashing stuff. I notice his fingers have their own <laughs> meters. Let's see here. So maybe. Yeah, oh yeah. Destructible points on this boss. Yeah, you gotcha. cut off his hand. Yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah. I saw I cut off his fingers before. I didn't realize. Whoa! It became the whole hand. But nice. Did I dodge that? I my shield bonus is still high. I think I dodged that. Didn't go down immediately anyway. Okay. So this is the part, yeah, where I gotta circle around him, more or less. Ah, gonna This uh this reminds me a bit of Maelstrom from Crimson Clover. The ooh, the stage three boss that like forces you to circle around him and dodge other stuff while that's going on. Uh the things that don't remind you of Crimson Clover at this point? Um, Toho. I actually, uh, I played, um, the one before... I, I played, uh, uh, Embodiment of Scarlet Devil again. Not bad, it's, you know. Um, I want to try some of the other ones, but... I was maybe going to do a Toho... I'm not a huge fan of, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the, the core Toho games, but a lot of the spin-offs are really good. The 3D, the 3D one looked awesome. Ay! This is tricky. The 3D, the 3D one, there's a whole bunch. What the? Oh, you know, Retro Banner, I didn't get his reference right away. He's like, because he goes, the fingers are like breasts, completely destructible. And I'm like, wow, that's that's really creepy. And then I'm like, oh, Gal Shell, Gal Shell, right, yeah. Oh, and I'm, I'm not going to do this idea, but I thought it would be funny because we were talking about scare cams on something awful, you know, and how to do them and stuff. So I was thinking of doing a Gal Shell 2 video where I send it to people and ask them to, like, record their reactions and then use those face cam videos as the sensor points for things. I just thought that would be a neat idea, if a little surreal. I, I cannot watch your Gal Shell streams. Chat for a second. What'd you say? <laughs> My cat just jumped on the keyboard and hung up. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I thought I think you would have liked that idea too, but well. Oh. Okay, let's. All right, I'm at full health now for this part, right? And, ooh. Yeah, kind of, and, and, yeah um, let's play as react to Galashiels 2. Yeah, I kind of like the idea, frankly. But, um... Is this guy just Halloween swatting you video. his wings? I think he tried to hit me with his tail, actually, but, uh... Well, it's not exactly got too many options now. It has this a bit of a deficit at this point. Right. <laughs> 
All right, so... Oh, damn it, I used DX attack way early. Okay, this is the part I'm having trouble with, so... Jesus. That one shmup attack, attack where you have to stay exactly in certain mm -hmm. points because the boss has the fucking moving beams. Right. Jeez, he's, he's difficult, but... Ah! Alright, I'm at a little over half health. Maybe if I can just... Oh, that was... He closed the he closed the gap! What was I supposed to yeah, do? That, that was... Blade dash through it. The hell? Yeah, you're right, blade I'll dash. I'm sure you're invincible while I'm at the... in the midpoint of the dash. Okay, I see. So the problem is Scattershot slows you down a little too much. I think this is his final form, too, because, uh... He's kind of low on e health here. Get through. Get through. Shit. Ah. Uh. Come on. Just, what am I gonna do? Ah! Oh, I ran into one. I almost had him. I gotta think about this. Does this game have a true final boss? Like you beat it on very hard mode with no continues or something? I don't know. That's a no. But <laughs> this isn't the final boss either. So. Ah. Cool. Oh. Nice. <laughs> And yeah, if you think this is hard, the final boss is gonna wreck you. Nice. That's what I like to hear, but... Damn. Alright, I gotta I gotta be a little smarter and more... I gotta use what I've learned instead of just sort of mashing the blade button and hoping for the best. That would probably be a good strategy to have here. Shift, have you... Uh, what do you call it? Have you, you have not played Asterbreed, I take it, or...? I have not played Asterbreed, no. It's a fun game, I'd recommend. It does look very fun. It reminds mm -hmm. me a lot of uh, Armored Core. Right. In the mech design. Hmm. Which is... Half health, not too good, but... Uh, that reminds me, it was last night I just reinstalled um, the newest Armored Core. Uh. Seeing if I can get anywhere in the campaign without going bankrupt again. <laughs> Wait, there's Armored Core for PC? No, no. <coughs> I'm uh, on um, Verdict Day on um, PS3. That's a uh, five, essentially. Oh. Five. Um, the oh. Kind of expansion for five. Okay. Yeah. Wait. He's got a tell. I see. Wait. So if you're watching him, you can kind of see the glowing of when that's supposed to go. Got it. Okay. All right. Let's. It's a bit hard to make out in the stream, but I can sort of get it. If you yeah, if you watch, there's like a pink kind of like you know, hey, look, I got something here, you know, kind of deal. Yeah. Comes first. The yellow is what really makes this difficult, because you kind of have to blade that, you know, but... But there's so much red, and yeah. I, I imagine they kind of blend together. Yeah, that's the thing. You're, like, concentrating more on the red, and then... You got the hang of it now. I don't think you've taken any damage. Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. Wow. I hadn't even noticed. Hey, yay for me! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Well, it all comes together once you start um, dashing through the Yeah, beams. actually, that's, that is the trick to it. And shooting back imagine, helps too, yeah. I imagine dashing through bullets becomes way more important than uh, blade mode. Yeah, blade actually. Just... Yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, so you slash through yellow, dash through red, got it. Okay, kind of got it. It's still, the yellow throws you then, it like, gets rid of your mojo a bit. I lost a third of health there, unfortunately, but he's all... Fuck it, just do it, die, yeah! Oh, this actually reminds me, um, there's uh, a... Doom made um, Doom mods that was just released. That oh, kind no. of gives it um, a very shmup style makeover. Yeah. And it's kind of and combo sword focused, and every enemy has a tell before they fire, and you can um, dodge through <coughs> shots by doing a, a dash step. Oh, that's awesome. I like that kind of thing. A Doom mod, you say? Oh. Yeah. Um, wow. Let me just um, link it in chat. Let's see here. And yeah, it has um, kind of shmup style health in that um, every time you take damage, you just lose one like, or five hit points and get a few seconds of invulnerability. You explore. Ah, I had a nice multiplier going too, but oh, whoa, hey now.
But yeah, it kind of turns it into a hybrid of first-person shooter and bullet hell. Ah, that's pretty neat. I like that. I also, you know, somebody gets... section give... looks super mean. <laughs> it's, uh... Now we're Ooh. the last level, and yeah. this is where it really, really tries to kill you. Reminds me kind of a Vicaruga, because that was a pretty brutal last level, too. But it was, like, fun sort of, like, brutal, you know? This is this is fun, definitely. It's just, um... It's interesting because it's hard to know... It's funny, it's almost like Astabree tries to distract you, like, not in a bad way, where it... It's like over. It's not like Battle Garega where things blend in accidentally. It's more like you you, you try. You have to try to keep focused amidst everything else. You know, if that makes yeah, sense. There's, the, there's just so many effects going on all at once. Yeah, it's tough. And all That's the bullets are bright and shiny like enough to be distracting. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Goodbye, my asymptote. Uh, sure. <coughs> Excuse sure, me. Whatever story. Sure thing. Um, I'm seeing some people uh, reckon, um, kind of likening this game to Sin and Punishment 2, but I think that's a little more rail shooter than anything yeah, else. Sin and Punishment 2 is, I, I still reckon that it is the best rail shooter ever made, like beats even the Panzer Dragoon series. But, yeah, this isn't quite it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't think I've ever heard of Sin and Punishment 2. It's a sequel it to Wii, yeah, a different yeah. game. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Yeah. By Treasure. It was like the one Wii game that Treasure made, I think. Mm-hmm. I think uh, so. Uh, uh, Treasure also made um, Wario Land on the Wii. No kidding! Oh, Wario Land. Shake it, right? Ah. Uh, I think. I think. I think so, made yeah. some Wario game. Wow, that was but, a, that was yeah, a difficult boss. Thing, yeah, the final boss just... Yeah. Nuts. Yeah, this is a shmup final boss now. So we'll have to, we have to use shmup tactics. It is not having any of your Ooh. shit. Oh, you can't... It seemed like it stopped me from dashing through her, actually. Yep. That's interesting. Whoa, no. It's because um, the dash move, um, if you touch an enemy while you're dashing, it just goes straight into a melee attack. Oh, I see. You can't dash through the boss, just the shots. I see. This this boss does not look like something he wants to melee. No, I yikes. This is a true boss. I was not expecting that. Ass to breed. Jeez, there's not a lot of room. Oh, I could just slash through, I guess. Ah, oh, damn. That's a tricky boss. Is okay. there an advantage to hmm? slashing the yellow shots as opposed to dodging them? Or are they just meant to be kind of, you have to slash these to avoid them? Um, I mean, you it's... You can dodge through them same as anything else, but um, it's usually easier just to use the sword on them. Because yeah. that like, means you, can, you get full control while you're moving. Keep in mind, too... I they yeah, might have no. built your combo or something. I think they might. I'm kind of not very concerned with score, because I'm not doing good at this... With, well, with this boss, um... That having been said, uh, you know, they tend to spread a little more, you know, so you get, they tend to be a little sloppier than the red, if that makes sense. So it, it is kind of easier to just kind of use a broad sword attack to just get rid of a cluster of them. Um, right. You know, I mean, they tip it before the yellow shots tend to go a lot faster, you know, almost saying like you kind of have to do that, but, um, but uh, I, I walked right into a yellow shot there, but at least they don't hurt. So, I don't know, I, I think it's one of those things where it's your preference. I mean, you can see from this pattern here, like, you're you're pretty much meant to slash through to change sections, you know? Like, there's no other way to do it. Oh, God, what is this attack? It's, okay. Whoa. That's... Yeah, there's something like four or five phases to this boss. All right. I got, I got rid of the... Oh, no, I didn't. Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. I think you can melee it when it's doing that, um... When it drops its shield. Oh, I say, yeah. I should have tried that. All right, regen health is done. Blade dash, please. Ah, there we go. Whoa. Okay, this is getting a little tricky now. Oh, I should have slashed through that. I say. So yeah. Okay, so that's a pattern where they want you to like kind of get scissored in and then slash your way in the middle. That's pretty cool. 
dash through. Ah, yeah. All right, and this now it starts dropping more and more into the arena. Yeah. Okay. This is yeah. This is tricky. Yeesh. Damn it! All right. And it went thunder down on you. It did. That's all right. This is I think what the halfway point maybe. I was at. Let's see. All right. Yeah, it doesn't. I think you're right back to the start. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just trying it's to determine. Fight. That's fine. That's fine. I'm used to that. Oh crap. Sorry. All right. Queen system's pretty cool. Uh, I'm liking it. It's definitely. It's definitely kind of like now more like bullet hellish style, you know, where you kind of have to look ahead of your ship and. Patterns. Yep, you got it. This this does really seem like. You have to know each phase individually, and know yeah, when exactly like I, to attack. It took me like eight tries to, um, to beat this on the first try. <laughs> you mean like to do it all in one shot, like you're supposed yeah. to? I see. Yeah, this part, this part's tricky because you're not expecting that red part of it, you know. But it looks like you can thread the needle maybe and just kind of hang here. Is that true? Yeah, no, that's not true. <laughs> no, no, I mean it was true, but yeah. It's just, it's, yeah, actually, this is, this is working on her, okay. Uh, and then she has that garbage attack right here, where she, I call it, where she just throws everything at you. Oh, and, but then does that. Okay, so. Oh, no. Oh, no, I guess not. All right. Well, since I played this. Sorry, that's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm supposed to be the shmup person here. All right. Uh, I mean, I can slash away the yellow. Maybe I should do that here. Ah, I should have expected that. Yeah, right. This is very tricky because you do have to kind of you know to focus. You know, like do the focus attack, the directed one. But you also have to be ready with the blade. Oops, jeez. Yeah, this is not easy. Okay. So yeah, because it it's like there's a lot to it. You can't just dodge. All right. So the yellow part of the pattern I could slash through, I'm dying already, which is not good, but... Oh, yeah, but you do have regen health, so maybe if I just concentrate on surviving for a little bit. Yeah, that, I know at this point of the fight, I usually just focus entirely on avoidance. Just trying Jeez. to let the health regen a bit. Yeah, oh gosh, yeah, that wasn't good though, she mixed in some yellow there. There's a, okay, I see, yeah, this... The red, the big red ball shots are tracking you, so I feel like there's got to be some aspect that you have to lead mm -hmm. them to a certain side of the uh, area where you're allowed to be staying. Hmm. Oh, and I noticed too, by the way, EX attack didn't seem to do much. That's not good. Alright, let's start here. Sorry about that. Um, ah. Alright, I started this fight pretty badly, but maybe we can recover it. Because this, this part actually is not so bad. Like, you can kind of get used to the way the rotation's supposed to go. Although she just changed it's, directions. It's fairly predictable. Right. It doesn't throw you a whole lot of curveballs. If you kind of remember the on-off part of it, meaning, like, you don't try to concentrate on the rotation, just that, like, I can be here on the clock face, and then the neighboring spot's the safe part, you know? That part seems a little easier to deal with. Yeah, this is the first boss where you kind of absolutely need to memorize things, whereas all the others you can do it on instinct on normal. Right. Okay, so... The first boss where you need to memorize things, also the last boss. Right. <laughs> well, up until you play hard mode, in which I've, I've never seen this, or even the previous boss on hard. Oh. Well, it gets messy. Well, let's see. Sounds promising. It does. I'm liking that the more I hear about it, but let's... One thing at a time, gentlemen! Also, by default, or, uh, hard mode also turns off all the story stuff. Um, I'm sorry, say again? By default, hard mode also um, turns off all the story. It's just pure action. Oh, there we go. Interesting. Ah! I think Eva Vapor did the same thing as well. Once you, you beat the game, it automatically disables the story bits. <laughs> Interesting. Whoa. All right. Because they know their audience. <laughs> yeah, I think once you're on hard mode, you're pretty much committed to, you know, you know what you know what you'd like to see. You know what the crowd came for, that kind of thing, you know. Oh dear. Um ah. 
Okay, so this part, what are we going to do? Uh, this part... Yikes. This part's, this part's going to be tricky. I'm not going to lie, got to do a little fancy kind of... Okay. Alright. Actually, you know what? This is not so bad. Just incremental dodge through some of this stuff. Okay. Alright. Alright, I think, I think I got the hang of it. A little bit. All right, the second phase um, is going to be yeah, tricky. Stop. Sorry. Two thirds health now. Yes. <sighs> Shift, my good friend. What are you playing lately? Uh, what I've been playing lately is Metal Slug Three and Dynasty Warriors Eight, which I was convinced to buy by Ty Tuesday. Oh, interesting. Oh, new new tax. I have actually never played a Dynasty Warrior game, but I've been kind of interested in them. They look fun. Neither had I, but it was 50% off, and it was really quite fantastic in play. Wow. Nice. I, it was 50% I kind of liken off. it to, like, I mean, this is, like, I mean, Japan's take on Diablo. It, it is a, a click-and-loot fest game, but with fighting game that's, elements. That's actually a pretty good analogy, except a lot of the loot is dudes. <laughs> instead of, like, a sword. <laughs> That's kind of great. Yeah, I'm interested in that. Ah. I, I think I would enjoy the uh, Empires games, Dynasty Warriors Empires games, oh more, but the Ambition mode uh, in Dynasty Warriors 8 for Steam is pretty good. Lock on, lock on, lock on. I don't know what's happening here, but... Hopefully this means I'm killing it? Maybe? I think this is kind of the dramatic finish. Oh, okay. Whew! In that case, you are quite the... Oh, yeah. Oh, EX attack. There you go. Yeah, that did it. All right. Very nice. <laughs> Very cool, queen system. I Wang says go full lock, then yeah, because I figured it out. Silly stream delay. This isn't your first time at the Shmup Rodeo. This is exactly right, I was about to say. Alright. Congratulations, the winner is here. Yay. Let's, uh. Oh dear, it's reforming though. Why? Oh, no. Um. Is this, wait, is this really it, or... Portal Magic's multiplying, eradicate immediately. I like the voice acting there. Or I should say the voice. Hmm. I think it's all cutscene from here. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's the end of Diagra, I guess. <laughs> Roper, okay. Oh, this is an anime game, and Hai Wang says, time for an anime ending. It is a very anime ending. Hmm. Oh. According to LZ Salon, I could have done that final attack at any point in the game, too. The full lock-on and plus the X. Yep. I'll have to try that That's on... That's one of the things the tutorial teaches you. <laughs> <laughs> you were doing well enough without it. Nice. Very Probably nice. would have been helpful at some point during the uh, big robot fight. Probably, yeah. Chapter 6 result. Tension graph. <laughs> Pretty bad. <laughs> but, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, and then a text ending. That's okay, well. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit after the text. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. What da -da 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 -da. Whoa, what the... Um, so, wow, that's that's sad. And then... Uh, <laughs> wow, okay, this is very interesting. <laughs> Wait, Suddenly. right. There's a whole Terran coalition. Oh, the world's thrown to get it, okay. That's crazy. I... We wrecked the whole... everything, it looks like. Well, you saved her from an alien invasion and you know, overthrew the corrupt government. Right, yes. Inadvertently. Look, I did my job, alright? Hooray. 
we did Congress stuff. Earth has not exploded. Yeah, and we're asked to breed, and a, and a family got reunited. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay. I, I did uh, say it was a very anime ending. It did. Why is she glowing like that? Why am I, like, ten years old suddenly? I, I don't have any answers for you, I'm afraid. What the fuck? This is to this is even more anime than before. <coughs> uh, all right. So now I'm just having wacky comical time with my sis my annoying sisters. Didn't I just kill a bunch of space things? Or what the what is this now? I mean, I saw him in one of the cutscenes, but he wasn't a wrestler. How do you know? Admiral? Really, Admiral? Anime as hell. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, well. I feel like there's like a. Is everything you wanted from Master Breed, Slow Beef? I feel like there's like stock anime. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, there's more. Now for the Final Fantasy kind of ending where everything is, you know? I think they just had, like, four endings all at once. They, yeah. They couldn't decide which ending to use, they went with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I didn't expect that part. What is wrong with that man's mouth? Uh... His double take is so anime... It... Yeah. It's distorted reality. It's dislocated his jaw. <laughs> That's my favorite Japanese word. I've never looked up what it meant, but ware ware, when they just throw it in, you hear it. It's in police knots a couple times, too. Anyway, Mars? Uh-oh. Is, is that a sequel I hear? <laughs> Excuse me. I do not remember the ending being this long. Pretty long ending. We haven't even gotten to the credits yet. This might have been longer than the final boss fight. <laughs> it almost certainly is. Look, you know you like giant robot fighting, but we know what you're really here for. What the fu- But, okay. It's like it can't decide on what tone it wants at the end. Like I said, they did all the endings. <laughs> I'm not even sure who that third girl is on the right. Just some random uh, fistless kid, I guess. Eh, hey, whatever, you know. Does it explain why our sisters are cat girls, by the way? I'm sure it must. Oh, and they're normal again. Well. They've changed all style again. They keep doing that. Ah. Uh. I don't really... What are you <laughs> saying about that stuff? Uh, his, his mouth is better now. Mm. Ah, that's interesting. Wada Wada is we when we used to refer to an organization. It's good to know. That's not... said end of story, but it's still going. No, it is, yep. They're going to school now, I guess, but... <sighs> My god. Does oh. the real game start now? They were tried as war criminals, right? I read that part of the end there. Yes, but I, then I presumably the the um, cyber girls go and hack the government and reveal the document saying that it's corrupt. Yet uh, everyone's released. Hmm. All right I then. That it, that's what it was implying, I guess. That was but, weird.